up so I can get started. Uh, oh, you know what I just heard? Ready to get it started. Bitch, I have no What's up, everybody? It is Popular here coming to you with another video. Another video. Another video. 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 Oh, we're going to be acting up today. You guys, we're going to be acting up because this is the thing. So I hope. I hope we're going to be acting up. But depending on your person and their energy, like y'all, if y'all know y'all person get real sad, okay, when they drink, please don't watch the video. You guys, I'm just joking. You guys are welcome here. But just know for my people in the back, their person might put a damper on some things, okay? So we're going to see. We're going to see what's going to happen. But let me hydrate, 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 you know what I'm saying, for my military people. I really hope, ooh, almost missed. I really hope that I'm hyped with this. I'm going to try not to overdo it. So let me just tell you guys. You guys, I have the piles. The piles are so cute. Wait till you see the fucking piles, right? But this is the thing. Sorry, I'm like looking up here and I'm like looking at the time and I'm like, girl, like you can't be cussing 30 seconds before the video starts, but I don't think I did. So I think we're good. You know what I'm saying? But uh, y'all piles, you're going to see them, but they're these little, <laughs> they're the little alcohols. So I got that for y'all, and then for me, I got the big hen. Well, it's the little hen, the big hen, but this the little hen because, you know, I got work tomorrow. We can't really, you know, do it up the way I want to, but you know what I'm saying? So I got the little personal Hennessy, so I'm going to be sipping on this. I think every pile, I'm going to take a shot. But y'all know me. It might be a shot and a half, maybe even two shots. I don't know. But uh, every pile, I'm, I'm going to do a shot so I can really get into the vibe. Um, I wanted to tell you guys, so there's a couple of YouTubers that I wanted to shout out for this. I'll put their um, links in the description. You know, I'm all about showing love. You get what I'm saying? I do have some announcements. I want to give some shout outs. You know, y'all y'all can skip this part. Like at this point, you, you got you can skip. I don't know. I'm a little all over the place right now. I feel like the Hennessy might, it might mellow me out. I don't know. But I just got to give some shout outs for some donations. I'm also going to link the channels that like I came across and they did them. And I think they did really good on these videos. I think it was like a whole like, what would they say if they drunk dialed you or whatever. So I'm going to link them down below. The one that was like my favorite, um, shout out to her. I think her name is, um, oh, hold up really quick. Cause now I got to get it right. Cause like the way she is, like she is just totally herself, and I was just, I was just fucking with it. Like I really was. Is it Goddess Divinity? What is her freaking name? Destiny Divinity. Divinity. Tarot. Drunk. Yes, Duchess. Duchess Divinity. You guys check out her channel. Um, you guys might have already like got hip to her, but oh my gosh, like her version of this video, like. <laughs> Girl, I was cracking up. I just really like her personality. Um, but someone else that I did see do this, Lexi the Leo. But she did this video. And there's someone else. I think it's like Venusian. Hold on. Because these are people that I just like came across. So give me one second. I'm sorry, you guys. Yes. I think it's Venetian or Venusian. Venetian. Venus. I don't know. But Venusian Jewel Tarot. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? I feel like y'all probably already know who I'm talking about. But Lexi the Leo, I actually really like her videos. Um, I've been watching some of hers, uh, Duchess Divinity, like, come on girl, like, I really like her personality, and then, um, I really like the, this other person, Venezuelan, I'm so sorry, I'm, I know I'm not saying it right, I'm gonna just put these up here, like, I'm gonna link everybody right here, or, like, put their little tag up here, if they don't mind, I hope they don't, you know, I don't think they would, so I'm gonna just put it up there, but, um, uh, Venezuelan, I'm so sorry. And I know that's like a regular word, but I just can't say it right now. I feel like I'm already drunk, so we're going to see how this goes. But also, more importantly to my people, I want to say thank you guys so much for the support. Watching my channel, you know, leaving all the positive comments, letting me know when it resonates. And just the people that have been donating. So, Lena Nguyen, I, I don't know if I'm saying your last name right, but you know exactly who you are. Honey another generous donation thank you so much we have marva thank you so much and let me move over to us uh, i about to say snap cash cash app give me one second i'm like all over the place right now oh shit okay so we have oh that's a lot of people hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna take it from the top so we have sherry monique skyler diane makai mckee uh, Remy Love, honey, oh my gosh, okay, Remy Love, I don't know if you're gonna see this, but, um, I sent out a prayer for you, you know, I got your message, and I did pray for you, and I asked God to heal whatever it is that you're going through, sending you love and light, um, it was a whole thing, it was like a whole thing, so I did pray for you, uh, we had Tiana, yes, Heather, thank you, Nicole, thank you, Ebony, thank you, Tamaya, thank you, Shiloh, yes, thank you, and then we have Haley. I don't know if Haley and Lena are the same person. 
because you guys both have the same last name. But honey, thank you. It doesn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. It does not. So yes, now that we just got past all of that, again, you guys, thank you so much for your support. Um, and yeah, let's just get into these piles. I'm going to open this up so I can get started. Uh, oh, you know what? I just heard ready to get it started. Bitch, I have no sense. Oh, we're, about to, we're about to turn the fuck up. I hope. I hope. I really do hope. Like, you know what I'm saying? It just depends on who we tapping into. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna stay over here or if I'm gonna go over there. I don't know, I kinda like, you know, the light. it's like a new scene. I need like new scenery, like even if it's just like two steps away from where I just was. It's just, I need something new. So yeah, I didn't eat nothing. So uh, we're just gonna see how this goes, but yeah. So I'm gonna put the piles up for you guys. Pick your pile, think to yourself. Whoever it is that you're thinking about, like, what would they say if they drunk dialed you? I want to be focused on, like, a love interest, not, like, just a friend. I mean, whatever comes out is going to come out. But, like, someone that you might have dealt with, love interest, could be dealing with now, situationship, past lovers. You get what I'm saying? Because the tea is going to come out, and I'm already catching the vibe with some of these piles. So, yes, we're just going to get started, and thank you so much for watching. I'm over here still trying to figure out if this, if her name is, like, Venusian or Venetian. I just thought it was spelled differently. I don't freaking know, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put her stuff up. I think it's, like... Venusian Jewel Tarot, like I really liked her video that she did too. But anyways, let's do this shit, okay? So you guys, here are the piles. I'm gonna lay them flat as well, but okay. So we have our Hennessy, we have our Patron, we have our Don Julio, and we have our freaking Absolute. Ugh. I had a real bad experience with Absolute on my vacation, but uh, that's a whole nother story. So up close, pile one is gonna be the Hennessy. <laughs> oh my gosh i'm getting a whole vibe from that okay anyways um tequila silver patron here oh i got a vibe from this one too this is gonna be pile two okay <laughs> i don't think i've ever drank don julio to be honest i know but we have um don julio pile three <laughs> I'm cracking up. I'm getting a vibe from that one too. And then we also have Pow 4. Absolute vodka. This is going to be my oddball pile. I can already freaking tell. Pow 4 is always my oddball pile, but it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, you guys pick intuitive. Ooh, my Henny is all out the frame. The Henny is what matters the most. All right, you guys. So, pick intuitively. I have the piles laid down here for you, and I'll see you there. All right, so I'm about to take my first shot with you guys. I love Henny and Cran. Um, I might do it straight. We'll see. Ooh, I'm just shivering just thinking about it. I'm not really a big liquor person, but I'll drink it because I like the feeling. I'm more of like a wine type of person, a wine type of bitch. But, you know, I want to show you guys this, though. Someone here could be Irish. Okay, um, someone could have freckles just like P. Someone also could have like a reddish brownish hair. Um, that just came to me. But I got this in Ireland. I had multiple of them, but the other ones broke in my car. But honey, it's just so funny because when I went out there, they had really good beer. Oh my gosh. Um, when I went out there, as we were transiting to come back from my deployment, this guy, he seen my last name. My last name um, is McClendon. And the two C's, he was like, oh my gosh, like, he just started running down the whole historical, like, background of my last name. And he's like, you are a descendant of the great of, uh, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And it's so funny because that's not the first time that that's happened. But, um, yeah, anyway, I say that to say someone definitely could be um, Irish here. But I'm not going to lie. I'm not really just getting Irish. What I was getting initially, because um, y'all chose the Tennessee. Someone here is, it's a Caribbean vibe, you guys. So y'all could be Dominican. Someone could be from Florida here. Someone could also be from Louisiana. Um, Haiti was coming through. It's a real, like, Jamaican was coming through. Y'all get what I'm trying to say? Like, it's a lot of, like, Caribbean. Someone could be from St. Martin um, or St. Martin, okay? Um, yeah, it's a vibe. Someone likes to listen to reggae music. I feel like the person, and I'm already channeling, like, I didn't even get my shot yet. Let me get this out the way, okay? This person... I'm not going to lie, it's something about when they drink. They could even be like this when they're not drinking. Put the energy where it needs to go, but they're a fucking chatterbox. I'm hearing life of the party. So this person could like to party a lot. I'm not going to lie, this might not be for everybody. We're going to see what happens when these cards come out. But this ain't your person's first rodeo. Like, I feel like your person could really be drawn to Hennessy just like you. Um, that might be one of their favorite drinks. Or maybe um, Cavassi. Is it Cavassier? 
they like dark liquor, whoever this is, or maybe they like rum. It's something about rum that's coming through very hefty, very hefty with this spread, right? I just keep getting a lot of like dancing, boy. Oh my gosh, when this person drinks, I feel like they like to dance. This is the type of person that if you were in their presence, they're grabbing you. It's like... They get super confident when they're drinking, but they're so used to it. It's not like they, they might have like a little alter ego when they drink, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm picking up on this person. I think they drink. Drinking could be a little bit of a sport to them. Like they do, they do this often. Like they naturally, like I keep picking up on this person. There's this person I used to have in my life, but this man drank Hennessy like crazy. And he always had a Henny bottle next to him. And that's naturally just how he functioned. That's what I'm picking up on for y'all person period point blank their their name could start with the letter r i wasn't gonna say it but their name could start with the letter r e and i'm gonna also pull some more initials give me one second i want to take my shot your person has so much to say yeah i'm picking up on when they're drunk i know we're talking about drunk dialing but they're the type of person that's gonna start dancing like if you were next to them and some of y'all might be a little bit more on the shyer side or flip it how it needs to flip someone would literally grab the other person and just start dancing like they would grab you and want you to like start dancing with them trying to get you like you know what i'm saying like this is that person like they'll get all up in your face they're super <clears throat> It could be a little clingy, like clingster, but like they're super clingy when they drink and they're going to be all over you. And I feel like that's coming through because that's kind of how they're going to be when they, okay, ring you up. It's almost like a real, like, I love you. Like they're just, oh. this person will just start spewing out all types of stuff. Um, fuck this shit. I want to take my shot. Hold on. Because honey, I want to take my two shots because one shot just don't resonate. Like one, one shot just resonate. Okay. So let me, let me get myself out the way. Can I get myself together before I get y'all together? Let, like, let me get myself together before I get y'all together. Okay. So give me one second, you guys. I was about to turn it off, but I know y'all want to see. May the look, may the look of the Irish be yours. And that's on period. And that's on period. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Call me pussy. But um, I'm gonna get my cranberry juice ready because I really haven't. I don't know, every time I drink Hennessy, it's not even that bad. I love Hennessy. I love black Henny more than regular Henny. But um, I don't know, maybe because I've been detoxing, it's like certain liquor been making me like y'all might see me do that on here. But I have to, I have to get in there. Get in there, like swimwear, ha. Who? Yes. Think. Okay, um, let me see. One, two, ah. smells not that bad. <sighs> mm. huh. Oh, that's not even that bad. It's not that bad. Mm. Let me tell y'all, Hennessy and cranberry juice is where it's at. I'm gonna do another one. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody shit, bitch. Okay. Okay, I'm going to slow down after that one. Because <laughs> I'm telling y'all, this shit will sneak up on me so quick. Alright, let's do it again. Let's come together, make greatness. P loves you. P loves you. Yes, she does. Okay, boo boo. Girl. Oh, shoot. I, almost I saw a whole visual of me jumping on this counter and twerking. Like... That's the vibe, honey. That's the vibe. Okay, but let's get started. Let me go grab the cards and we're going to get started. <laughs> okay, so my girl Duchess, she was using the giant tarot. It's so funny. Y'all, I'm like 5'10". I don't know if you guys know. Um, are y'all tarot readers? Are y'all inquiring about an ex? Mm. But anyway, uh, my girl Duchess Divinity, she used the giant tarot. So I'm like, let me see because I have that tarot deck. But it's so funny because is it really that giant? Was a king to a god. I don't mean to say it like that, but like, what's big to someone who's already like big in this bitch? Like, you know what I'm saying? I got big hands, everything. Like, oh, you see that? Bam. This person could be tall. Let me see. Okay. <sighs> Let me see. <laughs> they're so goofy. Whoever this is, they're goofy. Like, I'm almost picking up on this person laughs a lot, or maybe it's just when they're drunk. When they're drunk, I don't know if they act like this all the time because I am picking up on an earth sign that might be a little bit shy. But when they drink, honey, and that's another thing. So I know earlier I said that there's somebody that's coming through that season. I'm not gonna lie, there's also someone coming through. Someone could be bipolar here, 
but I'm getting like there's two energies because I'm drawn to two different decks. I have two decks right here plus this one to get the overall energy. But it's like, uh, I don't know, they're the type for some. Even if they're seasoned, it's almost like, oh girl, stop. Or boy, whoever I'm talking to, it's almost like whatever they talk to you about when they're drunk, they'll try to act like, girl some of them will try to act like they never said that or whatever they said like they never said it or it's just an energy of the next day when they're sober it's almost like they're so aloof that you question like do you remember what you said last night do you remember what you said last night type shit okay but let's see oh this this person could be into spell work no no, no. i'm literally picking up on someone who is they could be very spiritual very heavy manifestation powers they know how to, um, they have the gift of the gab. When this person gets on the phone with you, y'all might brush this person off because I am picking up on an ex for some of you guys. This person will just start talking. Oh my gosh, okay, let me, let me talk to myself really quick because I have to ask myself, do I really want this to be an 18 plus? Because it's going there. Do I want this to be an 18 plus? Oh, I just keep getting this person coming through and they're just like, they're telling you about all the sexual things they want to do to you. But the way they're saying it, it's like they're slurring. And they're just like, oh, do I want to go there, Lord? Do I want to go there? The Henny is talking for me. Yes, it is. The Henny is talking for me. Ah, fuck. Okay, let me see. Because I'm just, give me a second, y'all. Because I gotta, I'm literally trying to think of the YouTube guidelines. And I'm just like, mm, do I want to go there? I think I kind of do, but no, this is my thing. I'm going to see. I'm going to think about it because I don't know because like, yes, somebody could be an Aquarius here. Hold on. Yes, this is the vibe. Look at this. The body is banging. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this card. There's, it's like this person would instantly start talking sexually to you. It's like, it'll be like, a, oh my God, I just want to fuck you so hard. Like, I just want to fuck the shit out of you. It's like a real, I'm telling you, this person is off the chain. Like, I don't know, it's like when they call you, y'all could be talking about something lovey-dovey. I feel like this person, if, especially if this is an ex, I feel like, from what I'm picking up on, this person could have a lot of emotions for you, but it's like all their desires come out in this moment. But it's like the way it comes out, they'll just be talking, they'll be like, yeah, man, I'm over here playing a game or, you know, whatever, but, you know, I just want to fuck the shit out of you. Like, it just be random and be like, and you just be on the phone like, oh my gosh, like, where did that even come from? Some of y'all with the shits, though, you know what I'm saying? But it's like a real big um, energy of, like, this person, like, oh my gosh, you just look so good. Do you remember when we did this? It's like they'll recall past sexual encounters between you two. I mean, at this point, we already in the, um, the uh, 18 plus side of this so yeah they'll, they'll start being like do you remember when i did so and so to you do you remember when we was talking about so and so or doing this um do you remember when i bent your legs back like this do you remember when i had you up like this like Ew, girl what's going on like and some of you guys you'll be like oh my gosh boy stop hold up there was a name that was coming through Maybe a J. Hold on. I lost it. I literally just heard a name come through because I was about to say boy stop. But it was like, oh, so-and-so stop. I definitely think y'all could have been with this person or in a commitment with this person at some point in time. Or maybe it was on the way there. Um, but honey, the morals, the values, it all goes out the window when they talk to you on the phone. Um, and liquor is involved. It's the, se it's the sex talk for me. The stuff that I'm hearing right now, this is a Scorpio. That's what I was going to say earlier. This person could be a Scorpio. Give me one second, y'all. Hold up now. Don't tell me you got this person blocked. Why are you asking for somebody that you got blocked? But you know, I don't blame you. I'll be doing the same thing. Let me tell you about this person. Okay, I'm getting a whole vibe. I'm getting a whole vibe. <laughs> Whoever this is... First of all, for some of you guys, y'all have this person already blocked. Either y'all left this person or they left you or you guys were put in this situation where you had to leave. We have the Tower and the Five of Swords. Aquarius energy coming through heavily here and we also have Scorpio energy coming through heavily here. What the fuck is going on here? What's going on? We have Aquarius again. And we also have Sagittarius with the Seven of Wands, but the Seven of Wands came in reverse. So let me just tell you guys what I'm getting. Y'all know the, the liquor is hitting in, so you know I gotta like, I'm trying to connect the, the nerves so that we all can compute what the fuck is going on. So this is the thing. Yes, and we have the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And at the top of the deck, wow, we have the Nine of Swords. Look at this shit. 
what happened between you and this person? Because I feel like if this person calls you, y'all could be in contact, but I'm not really picking up on that. I'm picking up on someone that y'all have disconnected from, broke up with, and however y'all disconnected, honey, it was not the greatest, okay? Some words were said. Yes, oh, some words were said. Some shit was set straight. Y'all was regulating. Somebody regulated. It could have been, maybe they was regulating on you. I don't fucking know. But um, with this Knight of Swords, Honey, whoever this is, when they're drunk, that's what I'm picking up on. I feel like they just spit stuff out. Y'all ever be on the phone? Because I know somebody that's like this. One minute, it starts off as, hey, how you doing? But then the next minute, they just coming in hot as fuck. Some of them just even cut, come in hot, or this person that I'm thinking about. Come in hot as fuck. They start talking about how they love you. They miss you. They wish this would have went different. How could you leave me? How could you do that to me? You know, man, you knew how I was from the, um, from the gate. Why did you leave? It's like this real big energy. Oh my gosh, this is my confessions. Oh, this person will be confessing everything to you. It's a lot of hidden stuff. I don't know what y'all didn't know, but it's like this will come out when this person drunk dials you. For some of you guys, this is very unexpected. My phone just went off. It's it's almost like, work with me, y'all. Y'all know I'm a little tipsy. I know I'm tipsy off those two shots. That's literally, oh my gosh, I'm such a lightweight. But anyway, there's just this energy of, do y'all know what I'm talking about? Because I've, I've literally went through this before, where like someone called me, and it's like, it was so much that came out. Like between the, their feelings, their family issues, their sexual desires, what they wanted to do to me, how they hated me, how they hated what I did. It all came out in a flood. That is this person. This person is very upset about the way you guys left off. I don't know. I am picking up on someone that y'all disconnected from. I'm not going to lie. I'm also picking up on someone that y'all blocked. So it's almost like this person, there's some type of barrier between you guys. Whether you have them blocked or not, I feel like this person will call you and be like, Hold up, I'm, I'm a channel. I just keep <laughs> they so crazy. I just keep hearing, how could you leave me? But for, this is the thing. For some of y'all, you had to leave. What the fuck, you had another bitch? Duh, you had somebody else. You was living with somebody else. You was dealing with somebody else. You was lying to me. So duh, I had to leave. Fuck is they talking about? You were listening to your friends instead of me. I had to leave fuck is you talking about that's not what i'm picking up on i don't know but they're up in their head about this whatever listen y'all let me know in the comments down below i don't know how y'all disconnected but this is the energy that they're in got me up all night what's the what's the lyrics got me up all night it's like got me up all night all i'm singing is love songs but that's on them <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's on them Somebody, I don't know if you guys randomly have found out information. It's so crazy because with this crown at the top of this tower card and it popping off like that, pop top, honey, someone could definitely be from Louisiana. But um, there's a lot of like, okay, cats out the bag. I know this. It's like y'all y'all did it yourselves. I don't know. It's almost like an energy of maybe this person didn't even come forward to you with the secrets. Y'all brought the secrets. I don't know if that makes sense. Let me let me explain. It's almost like y'all kind of had an inkling. Y'all might want to go watch my karma video about the ancestors and how your ancestors are mad. Or maybe even... Hmm. Wait, my, wire, my wires are trying to connect right now. Hold on. Oh, the last videos that I made, the almost personal readings, you guys might want to watch those. There's just this real big energy of you guys being like, okay, you're not going to tell me the truth. Well, I'm going to tell myself the truth or I'm going to unveil this shit myself. Oh, they sick. Honey, I don't know what you did, but you stirred up some shit. I don't know if you came to the other person as a woman, as a man, and you let them know. I don't fucking know, but there's some. There's another energy here, and we're just going to not look knock them the fuck out um it's almost like y'all just regulated some shit and this person is very upset about it let me ask spirit what happened here i don't know if this person left you in a rude or ignorant type of way you get what i'm saying because we do have this five of swords someone got left out here and it could have been both of y'all or this could let me tell you when people look at this card they commonly look at this person but we have to look at these people in the back sometimes we are these people in the back and sometimes those are the best people to be. When you see someone being sneaky, sly, and that all they're going to do is think about themselves, 1010 was just on the clock, I think. I thought I saw that. I don't know why, but, you know, that might be someone's number because I, that's what just came to me. But, um, this. It's almost like y'all were forced to have to move away from this person. So something is telling me that this drunk dial is a little bit unexpected, honey. The star card, you guys have been working on yourself, healing yourself. Their, your body... 
I'm going to say their body too, so maybe y'all like their body too. But your body, they love it. Oh my gosh, they might have a nice smile because I just homed in on my smile. And I can hear somebody saying, oh my gosh, she has a nice smile. Thank you so much. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be cocky, but I literally heard it. But this person can have a very nice smile or they think you have a very nice smile for my feminines. They love your titties. They love your titties. For my men, I don't know. Even if you're not in the gym all the time, it's something about this part of your body. They love it. Someone could have blonde hair here or a blonde wig. Well, I gotta say it, okay. The vagine, wet. They missed that. Oh yes, they do, this person is sick, oh my gosh. So this is the thing, when they talk about those sexual desires, they're gonna tell you how you feel to them, if you, if you catch what I'm putting down. Like, they're gonna tell you, I feel like I've already crossed the line. So like, if you're super wet, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna tell you that. They're gonna like, they're very explicit. Whoever this is, like I don't even think I can say half the stuff, even though I can, but I can't. It's like, they're very explicit with the way they're coming, okay? Period, point blank. I'm getting a whole visual here and I don't wanna describe that on here because I don't know if I'm gonna get flagged, but honey, just know the sex, that's what they're thinking about and they're gonna describe it to you. So when they come on, they're gonna be talking to you and I know that might sound weird to some, but I'm so serious. It's like they're gonna come on and they're gonna be like, dang, like I miss you, like I just wanna fuck you so hard, like I just wanna fuck the shit out of you. Like it's just this real big, and that right there, I don't even say that. I don't even say like I wanna fuck you so hard. So that's for somebody, you didn't heard that before, honey. You know you did because that's not P. But the fuck the shit out of you, I've heard that a couple times. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yes. But that's kind of what I'm picking up on with this person. That's so crazy. With this seven of wands being in reverse, I just keep getting this energy of this person feeling like a little bit like, damn, like how did you, or how could you move on like that? Give me more about the seven of wands in reverse. It's giving me blocked energy. Um, why is the seven of wands in reverse? Temperance. Sagittarius energy. What did I just say? That's, who dealing with a Sagittarius or someone that got Sagittarius in their chart? Tell me more. Make it off that wall. Thank you. The Knight of Swords in reverse. You know what's so funny? That's what I'm saying. This person teeters a lot on what they would say. So one minute they're mad, the next minute they're in this sexual energy. The next minute they're in this lovey-dovey energy. The next minute they're mad again. Pick your side, bitch. Okay. Yeah, with this Knight of Swords, I'm just picking up on, this is a separate message. Your person wants to come out of conflict with you. They might not really express that on the phone, but it's almost like, it's a it's a emotion dump. Like, I'm just picking, picturing someone with a dump truck, and they're like, eh, let me just throw that on you real quick. Let me look at this Seven of Wands. Some of you or some of them might have been defensive. Somebody was defensive here. And I don't know, maybe like the... I don't know, y'all. The way I'm picking up on this, it's like the way y'all ended, honey, some shit was said, okay? And I mean, that's on both sides. Like, I don't know. Some shit was said. So now it's like this real big energy. Yeah, with this temperance card, your person, although it's up, mm -mm, although it's upright, right? I don't think they're going to have much control over how they how they come off you know what i will say that this is what i'll say they're gonna come in hot and they might recognize that you're not really into what they're saying you might be into it on the inside but you're not really showing them because of what they did so it's almost like they pull back then they try to act like oh, okay okay I'm, I'm chilling i'm cool they're not cool honey on the inside this person is like detrimentally bothered someone could have triangle tattoos here someone could be a leo someone could resonate with archangel michael or the archangels Someone's favorite color could be yellow. Someone's name could be T, P, E, R, or C. Hmm. That was a lot. Okay. With this Knight of Swords, I'm just getting a real big energy of this person wants to come out of conflict with you. So let me ask. Ooh, Five of Swords. What? <laughs> That's what they get. The fuck? What did y'all say to them? Or what did they say to you? It's like there's an arg like, there's an argument here. But I'm not gonna lie, you guys. This is when we start getting a little bit weird. But I'm gonna trust my intuition. That's something I'm trying to work on. When these weird storylines come through, I'm trying to work with them. Um, it's a group here. It's a group of people. So I don't know if this person was in. I was about to say in other people's ears, but it's almost like other people were in this person's ear. So I don't know. You guys might not know about this, but I'm hearing from Spear that something about. Something about how y'all disconnected had to do with the fact that other people were adding, what, what do they say? 
I'm gonna say salt to the flame. I don't know what that was about, but that's not the saying. But it's almost like adding insult to injury. Is that what they call it? I don't fucking know. I don't know. When I get on here, I just blink the fuck out. You know what I'm trying to say. But there's a there's a friend group here that has some type of influence, or maybe even a family group that has some type of influence in why things went the way they went. That's for somebody. Which at the end of the day, your person needs to take accountability for what the fuck they did. And that's just it. Y'all, I got my lapis lazuli on, so I don't be giving a fuck today. I don't give a fuck today. But um yeah, there's this energy of them listening to somebody. I feel like they regret listening to other people. Or, you know, there's also this energy. If this is somebody that you're in no contact with, there's like some karma playing out right now where everybody is kind of turning against them. So the people that they thought were on their side that were actually like giving them information about you or just in life in general, it's like there's a real big back in the corner type of vibe with this person. Mm, now they're thinking about you. What the fuck? Okay. For my pile one, those that told... Hold on. I gotta grab the Hennessy. I gotta grab the hitty, baby. That started kicking in fast. I'm worried. Am I gonna make it to pop four? Those that chose the Hennessy, put your energy on this. Okay, well, really don't, but like, do. Mm, suck it up. Yes. Okay, those that chose power one. What would their person say to them if they drunk out them? This person, I'm just hearing, I just heard the word erratic, but I just keep hearing, like, it's a bunch of stuff that they would say. It's not nothing that's pinpointed. It's like they would switch topics so fast. It's like all the stuff that they might have stored in the back of their brain, it will come to the forefront. Regrets, desires, anger, sadness, all of it will come to the forefront. Paul one's person, what would they say to my Paul one if they called them drunk? What would they say? <laughs> Ooh. The justice card. Look at this. The tower. We got a tower twice. The tower twice is a Scorpio or a Libra. <laughs> I don't know. For a majority of you guys, because we are, you know, I got to remember that now. My, all of my subscribers are, you know, in the clear, you know, and it's okay. We all do wrong, bad, good, whatever you want to call it. But this is the thing. We all been on the opposite side sometimes. The villain or, you know what I'm saying, the victim. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I don't know if you guys kick this person out. Let me check my lips real quick. Mm. I just had to check. Okay. Something happened here. Y'all might have found out this person was in another relationship. They were dealing with somebody else. There was a pride issue here that led to the demise of this. I'm picking up on an ex. With this tower card, that's a Scorpio baby. That's a Scorpio baby. Okay, Libra card. It's a Libra baby. Or someone that's just unbalanced as fuck. Okay, this is the thing. The way the Libra card came out, it kind of came out a little bit sideways. And that's what it's giving me. Your person would come on the phone. Oh my gosh. And I feel like that's what's so frustrating about it. Some of y'all might not have talked to this person in a while or you just don't even want to talk to this person. But it's like there's this energy of them coming on the phone trying to right their wrongs, but they're still not telling the full truth. They are telling some things, though, because there's a lot of hidden information that you're going to find out. I feel like it has to do with how they truly feel about you, but they're not telling the full truth. Something is still unbalanced here for others. They're going to talk about how y'all ended. They don't feel like you guys should have ended the way y'all did. They're very, like, remorseful and regretful for how things ended. That's going to be for somebody. Some of you, I'm telling y'all, some of y'all definitely watch my video um, of the karma with the ancestors. Some of y'all psychically attacked this person. They felt that shit. Karma came through. You know what else this person would talk about? Their karma. For those of that resonates where this person did something to you and you did not do it to them. Um, if it's the other way around and you kind of did something to this person, I feel like they would express like... Kind of like anger, but also just like feeling sad about what happened. But for others where the wrong was done to you, oh, honey, they will be admitting that. And they're going to let you know. They wouldn't tell you this sober, um, but they're going to let you know exactly the karma that has went on. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm hearing. With this justice card, there's an extra energy here that I feel like is like working as like a, I keep getting puppeteer type of energy and I feel like they're going to let you know about something. So if they were, like if there was a third party, just know there would be information coming out to you. <laughs> the juice, the juice and the tea, honey. There would be information coming out to you about this third party. For others, I'm not going to lie, if they're in a relationship, this is a separate storyline, but it's not a separate storyline, but it is. Um, with this two of wands at the bottom of the deck. 
Wow, look at this, and the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Your person wants to start over. But you know what I don't like about this energy? But it makes sense, but it does not, okay? This person wants to start over with you, but I feel like they think they left stuff so bad that it's almost like, you know what, it's, it's okay, this is what it's giving. This is what it's giving. I keep thinking about, okay, so back in the day I had this ex that I was with for like five years. And I remember like there was this moment where he started dating this other girl and he came back to me or whatever and he told me, he said, I'm not, he's like, I want you back so bad, but I'm not going to leave this girl unless I know for a fact that you're going to take me back. Fucking bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's the energy here. Whether they, they would say that to you or not, I don't know, but it's almost like they're weighing their options and they're a little bit confused. And the only reason why they're confused is because they don't know if you're going to take them back. So they're settling. Let's ask about this third party, honey, because that's for somebody. Let's see. How do they feel about this third party spirit? Power wants person. How do they feel about this third party? We got the nine of swords and the eight of swords on the floor right there. But it's in reverse, so let's see. We have the nine of cups, the world card in reverse. Let me tell you, this is only going to be for some. For some of you guys, they might be happy over there. I don't know, but I'm not getting that. What I'm getting, though... You ever been with somebody, I've been here myself, where they fit the criteria, they like the checklist that I have, they might check, 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 but I'm still not interested. There's something about the person that they're with that's just not doing it for them. Like, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it almost makes sense to be with this person because they might provide certain things to them, but it's, it's just not you. It's just not you. For a lot of y'all, this person's family doesn't, like, they're not in line with what y'all have going on. Don't know what that's about. And then with this Nine of Cups, I'm not going to lie. Like, at first I was thinking, like, this is how they feel about the person. But, and I'm not here to gas y'all. But your person is just non-committal. So I feel like that person is just a placeholder. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, with this Four of Cups peeking out the side of the deck, I'm bothered. I just feel like this person is a placeholder codependent relationship over there they're gonna tell you let me tell you when this person calls you not only are they gonna say all that other shit that i talked about but they're also gonna tell you something about when you're by they're gonna express how they love you how they care about you how they still think about you but i'm not gonna say that they're, that they're gonna dog this third party or this other person or like if there's someone that ever interfered whether it be a friend or like a romantic interest I just want they're gonna tell you there's stuff there's secrets here they're gonna tell you they're gonna reveal it but they might not reveal all of it for some of you guys, it's not because I feel like they're being deceptive. It's just because they're like, they're kind of trying to read you to see if you even give a fuck about what they're saying. Okay, what are they going to say? Any last messages? Any last messages from my power one? This is juicy. They're going to have to make a decision. This person is trying to play their cards right. This person could also be at a distance. I feel like y'all have history with this person. There's someone from the past that wants you back. The lovers, Gemini energy. We also have the Six of Swords. What did I just say? Someone from the past that wants you back. The Six of Swords. And we also have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Someone could feel like you're so focused on your money. That's something that they would say to you like, damn, you don't even pay me no attention. You done got a little fame, a little of this. Like, now you done forgot somebody, okay? I just heard a word, but I can't say it on here. You done forgot a ninja, okay? <laughs> you guys would be in you'll be like laughing at this person like boy what's wrong with you girl what's wrong with you but this person is gonna express to you how they think you're your that you're their soulmate like oh we got a soul tie you're my soulmate don't you see how we keep coming back to each other even though you ain't come back they came back with their crazy ass okay but it's like don't you see how we're connected don't you see like i dream about you i think about you like i love you i just want to fuck you like i'm just mad you left me you see what i'm saying we just go all over the place that's them this person loves you, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, that's one thing I can't deny. Whoever this is, I feel like they love you and they have a lot of feelings for you. But something happened here, okay? Any last messages from my power one? Any last messages from my power one? I heard two. Maybe you gave this person two chances already or multiple chances. Something, something could have happened two days ago, two months ago, two weeks ago, or even two years ago. The number two is prominent. Something could have happened in February. The Queen of Swords. Let me see what your advice is. I feel like you guys are very, like, you guys are asking about this person, but you are very, like, you get what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Why is the Queen of Swords here? 
the four of cups you're not having it and you know what i'm not gonna lie spirit is saying don't have it at the end of the day with this wheel of fortune here there's something destined here so if you guys are waiting on an apology from this person or for this person to kind of just feed your ego i feel like they're coming in but with this wheel of fortune card there's something unexpected that's gonna happen and with your advice i'm just hearing like don't you know, make them work for it. If you want this person back, you got to make them work for it. But set clear boundaries with this person because they still don't know what they want. There's a little bit of a sporadic type of energy here. But there is something destined here. So if you guys are waiting on some type of apology or a comeback that's so crazy, a whole different deck. A whole different deck. And we have the lovers. I can't deny this. Although they got a little bit of some fucked up tendencies. This is a soulmate. You know what I'm saying? This is someone. This could even be a divine counterpart of some sort. Someone that you feel bound to. Six of Swords. That's so crazy. Do y'all see this? This was at the bottom of the deck. That's so crazy. This is a whole different deck. That's that's how I know. Spears coming through with the message. Some of you guys are going to be reconnecting with this person. And this person might actually be meant for you. I'm sorry to say. But I'm just being serious. Six of Swords. The, um, the Lovers. The Lovers and the Six of Swords. That's crazy. So yes, Pile 1. That was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates. And we're going to move on to Pile 2. <laughs> oh, okay. Pile one. Whew. Clearing out pile one. Okay. So pile two, welcome to your spread. I'm not gonna lie, you guys are kind of putting a damper on some things. It's not, I don't know. Cause one minute I'm getting an energy that this could be two different people, or maybe this person just goes in and out of these energies. One minute I'm getting this whole vibe that this person will be on the phone rapping to you, singing to you, like this person like randomly starts just rapping or something like that, or like spitting out stuff, maybe even poetry. I don't know. Like, and I feel like you guys know what I'm talking about. They might start referencing certain rappers or like music artists on the phone. Like, you ever heard somebody like when they drunk, they start like just spitting, like, yeah, that's the energy I'm getting, but I'm also getting kind of like a sad type of energy. There was a Virgo type vibe coming through. Someone's name could start with the letter M, E, R, or C. And I also heard someone could really resonate with the Merkaba, or you could have like a Merkaba. Um, I'm, I haven't really studied this, but I don't know, like the shape, you know that shape that's like referenced with it? Type of necklace on, okay? Yeah. Anyway, fuck that shit. I'm gonna take my fucking shot, okay? Period. Okay, I just told the story of where this came from, Ireland, and like what happened in Ireland, like when they gave me like the whole rundown of like my heritage and stuff like that, okay? But uh, yeah, I took two shots in the first pile. I wasn't gonna tell myself, but I'm gonna do it now. So if you guys are like, why, why is she kind of like, mm, woo? For one shot, it wasn't, it wasn't one shot. But you know what I am gonna do? I'm gonna get my cranberry juice ready because I don't have time. All right, let's do it. Mm. He loves you. He loves you. Yes, you do. Okay, you guys ready? I'm ready too. <gasps> okay. <sighs> Flow. Okay. This person could be a Virgo and they could be at a distance or there's some type of blocked off communication as of now. But for some of you guys, why well, I feel like this might be a partner or someone that you're talking to. Y'all might have been disconnected for a week or two. There's a little bit of a disturbance. This is only for some of you guys. Where I feel like, because it's not giving me a pile one where I feel like y'all been like in no contact or someone was blocked. But it's almost, y'all might have been drawn to that pile too, but it's a real melancholy type of vibe that I'm getting with this one. But it almost feels like you guys are still in contact. It's just been a little bit of distance. Your person could be dealing with family issues. The Eight of Wands is here. Someone wants to communicate. But I feel like, again, someone is at a distance. This person could live away. Someone could live in Mississippi. Someone could watch anime. One second you guys this is a deck that i'm being drawn to hold on because i just heard something because like yeah there's a thing right now there's something happening here i heard ant farm when i think of the ants i think of someone who's a hard worker but uh for some of y'all they be drinking while they at work i don't like this energy because it's slowing me down but let's see pile two message for pile two those that chose the patron baby patron get you in your fucking zone baby mm, that's for some of y'all like patron is okay let's see pile two 
Who is this person? I'm getting fucking sleepy. Oh, I don't like that. I feel like whoever this is. I don't know if they would be talking about something sad. We have rhinoceros. I've never seen this card before. They like geometry or they might have geometric or tribal tattoos on them. Be strong and courageous. Archangel Sandalphon and Raquel. Raquel. This could be an earth sign for sure. Whoever this is is very stubborn. I don't know if they like unleash a certain side of them once they get drunk. But there's a very stubborn energy, a very like... You know how you have that one person that kind of like puts a damper on the, the party scene because they're so mature? And I hate to say it like that because that's a good energy to be in. But it's almost like this person could be very traditional for some. Um, there could be a duality because I am seeing with this card, with the rhinoceros card, there's like a one and two. But something is bringing me down with this pile. So I don't know if they're like real pessimistic. Um, I don't know. I'm not really. But I'm getting a Taurus Virgo Capricorn for sure. For right now. But let's see. Totally different vibe from Power 1. Power 2. Who is this person? Oh, I can't wait to make this fucking wrap. I'm getting so hungry now that I'm drinking because I hadn't eaten. I hadn't eaten. This person could be a Scorpio or a Libra. Wow. Y'all could have de definitely been drawn to Power 1. Um, I'm hungry as fuck. Let's see. Is this person blocked? Either this person is blocked or this is someone that will call you and like. Hold on, y'all, because I'm getting two different storylines. One minute I'm getting this person will call you and be like, oh, it's so boring. I'm so sorry, but it's so boring. It's almost like this person would just call you to try to talk. They might say the wrong thing, but it's like because they're drunk, they got some type of confidence to call you and they want to speak to you, but they're not really saying what they want to say. But for others, there's an the energy of there's some blocked off communication. I don't know if this person is socially awkward, but it's almost like they have to be drunk in order to communicate with you. Um, they're very, for whoever I'm picking up on, they're kind of introverted um, or they're intimidated by you in some type of way. This person might ask you why you haven't been talking to them. What the fuck is going on? Okay, let me ask a clear cut question. Okay, this person, what's the overall energy around what they would say to my pile twos? Pile twos person, what would they say? The energy around the spread. The wheel of fortune. <laughs> Spirit don't even know, just joking. But like, it's almost like a real erratic type of energy. Is that what I wanted to say? It's just real like... You'll kind of be like, why are you here? Why are you calling me? Or like, they just won't get to the point. They won't get to the point of why they're actually calling. I feel like this person could have emotions for you or feelings for you. But it's like they wouldn't really talk about it. They're talking about all these other things. I don't know. Hold on. Why the Wheel of Fortune spirit? It's very unexpected energy. Like very like, whoa, why are you calling? If, especially if this person is blocked and you got to just inquiring. Whoever this is, it would be like so unexpected. The stuff they talk about. The Emperor in reverse. Yes. Okay. For some of you guys, for who I'm picking up on, there's an energy here, Aries energy, or a lot of fire energy, so fire and earth. There's something coming through here about this person being very aloof in person, so if they were to call you drunk, it's almost like you would see a totally different side of them, and I think it would kind of be very jarring for you. You'll be like, whoa, Nilly. Okay? <laughs> They're like, whoa, like, where did that come from? There's something real secretive about this person. I'm not gonna lie. With this Ace of Wands, it's like all their boundaries will be brought down. They'll tell you the truth about some things. So if this is in regards to how you feel or like how they feel, how they feel about you, it's like this is when it would come out. But on a regular, this person has a lot of money for some of you guys. Cause my nose is itching. There's something here. It's it's a weird type of energy. It's almost like you can't pick up on it. This person is very unpredictable. They could be an Aquarius. But uh, it's almost like them calling you drunk and saying the things that they said. You know, you might be in contact with this person, but the stuff that they would say, it would almost catch you off guard because you're like, what the fuck? But this is stuff that's deep inside their mind that that's coming up to the surface. I don't know who that's for. Um, but if this person is very prideful, that shit will go away. Either they're very prideful and all of that. Who the fuck is calling me? Hold on really quick. Oh, yeah, I can't answer the phone. But anyway... 
Yeah, maybe this person was ignoring you at a, per a point in time. Like, maybe they were, like, giving you the cold shoulder. That's for some of you guys. But there's this energy of, like, why? I just keep hearing, oh, why is you here? So I don't know if that's y'all energy, like, where you're like, why are you calling me? Even though you guys are inquiring. But um, this person could also not be confident. This person is intimidated by you. Regardless of, like, how you feel, whether you think that's true or not because they come off a certain way. Mm -mm. Or this person is just very insecure. Okay, pile two. I don't like this energy. Let's bring me down. Pile two. What will pile two's person say to them if they drunk dialed them? What will pile two's person say to them if they drunk dialed them for the Patron? I just heard Richard. I don't like this energy, y'all. Let me tell you why. Whoever this is, it's like, and I don't know. I'm not sure if it's coming from a healthy, it's not coming from a healthy place, actually. Uh, there would be a lot of talks about starting new sexual talks. But the thing that I don't like about this, well, no, let me not say it like that. Because sometimes, you know, if, if someone's not really comfortable with themselves, you know, maybe alcohol might give them that extra oomph. I'm just picking up on the energy if the alcohol is giving them that extra oomph. So they're coming in with like, I don't know, they're coming in very like, mm, this is me. But it's like, you know, that's not them. It's like a facade that's coming through. Gift of the gab. But underneath the surface, we have the emperor in reverse. This person is very insecure. So it's almost like maybe they're in that emperor in reverse energy. Um, prior to drinking it, my nose is itching. Oh my gosh, so bad. Look up what that means, y'all. Because I know it can mean different things. There's some, I'm hearing lies. This is for somebody. If it's not your pile, pick another pile. But with this magician coming through and the ace of wands, there's a gift of the gab. This person could also talk about how they want to get you pregnant or how they want to have sex with you, whether masculine or feminine, um, or how they can see themselves getting impregnated by you. But there's a very manipulative energy coming through here. It's almost like there's two, it's like night and day. So however they are, why is this person calling me? Like, what the fuck? How, uh, girl, I'm about to cover my mouth. I hear my phone. I'm doing stuff. But anyway, yeah, it's like this whole energy of like this person, however they will call you drunk. I don't like the energy. It's almost like it's so different from how they are when they're not drunk. The gift of the gab, this is when the confidence comes up. But it almost makes me feel bad for some of them because it's like, damn, why can't you be this, like this in real life? Whoever this is, I feel like they're a lightweight. I'm not going to lie. If that doesn't resonate, this might not be your pile. For whoever I'm picking up on, this is a lightweight. And it's like, when they drink, they're like, oh, yeah, let me, let me, like, capitalize off this energy and just say whatever. You know what I'm saying? Be careful with this person because um, I don't know if they're trying to make a decision between you or something else, but they're very flighty. It's a flighty type of energy that I'm picking up on. Aries energy, too. And it's like, they'll, this person will call you and tell you stuff that might not even be... I'm not even gonna, okay, the liquor's kicking in. I'm not going to say that it might not be true, but I'm going to say it might not be true. I'm almost getting on in like an energy of this person like promising you things or making you broken promises. And it's like, they'll just say a lot of stuff that's like not really them. You get what I'm saying? Like this person will put on some type of facade. I don't like that. With this Queen of Wands, though, that's what I'm saying. They're very intimidated by you. They feel like you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and they would tell you that, and that is real. Um, they feel like you're handsome, body's looking nice, you're very masculine, or however you are. It's like they, they like your physique, however you're shaped. They love you. I won't say that. Let me, let me take that back. I don't want to hype nobody up. They like how you look physically. There's a very physical attraction here, but it's crazy because I feel like this person would only say that when they're drunk. So if this is someone that you guys are kind of like inquiring about where you feel like there's something going on or you feel like there's a little bit of, you know, a spark there, but they're not really capitalizing off of it. This could be this person. This could be a crush. They're very intimidated by something. So let me see. Any other messages from our pile twos that shows Patron? We have curiosity, destiny, and search. <laughs> That's so crazy because, um... We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have She Who Questions. This person, this is why I feel like this might annoy some of you guys. This person might ask you a lot of questions. If they drunk dialed you, it's like all the questions that they ever want to ask you, that's when they would ask you. Because this is the only time where they have the confidence to really ask you it. Whatever alcohol does to them, it gives them a little bit of a boost, okay? We also have Audaz. And I, 
And you know what's so crazy? When I looked at this, it says audacity, but I, I thought of audacity. I don't know why, but it's almost like I'm just picking up on a energy of this person gets turned up when they're drunk. Not necessarily in a bad way, but it's almost going to have you looking like, why didn't you say this before? All the things that this person wanted to say to you um, when they were sober would come out at this point in time. Very, it's still hidden though. That's the only thing that's like really creeping me out. Not creeping me out. Let me not say that. But it's almost like throwing me for a loop because I'm like, it's, it's a lot of hidden energy here. Like, cause I, I keep getting this, like, it's like a library of books, but it's like, I can't tap into that. Fearless, justified, and resistant. Exactly. She who resists. This person is very curious about you, but they're not going to give too much. So what this person is going to do, let me tell you, when this person calls you, this is either your power or it's not, they're going to give you what they think you want. But the truth behind the matter, the actual seed, what they really feel, they might not give that to you fully. But you're going to get little hints because I feel like this person has like a, it's like a library book. This person could like to read. There's like something back here that they've always wanted to tell you, but they can't tell you when they're sober. And that's, I don't know. It's like the weirdest thing. It's like whatever they want to truly tell you is going to come out when they're drunk. Um, and they have a lot to say. So pile two, pile two's person, anything else? What's the hidden information pile two's person? Did y'all see that? We have the five of pentacles and we also have the, the nine of swords in reverse. This person doesn't feel good enough for you. So I just feel like this person is going to put up some type of facade when they talk to you on the phone. And I can go into specific details, but it's like there's a lot of exaggeration exaggeration in regards to what it is that they have what it is that they want because this is their I don't, I don't know why I just heard their ego talking but that's not what I wanted to say it's the alcohol talking so just be careful with this person whoever this is not in a bad way because I'm not gonna lie I, I get a sweet energy from this person or like a more so it's almost like I feel bad for them because it's almost like they don't know how to operate without the alcohol which is making me sad because like you should be able to feel like yourself even when the alcohol is not involved but this person they feed off of that that drive. So they're going to say a lot of things. I'm hearing broken promises. Hold on really quick. The color green is coming through very prominently. I just heard things that they can't keep up with. The three of swords, I'm also seeing that card as well. It's a lot of broken promises. So just watch. When this person calls you drunk, you could take it in, laugh at them and joke. But just watch what they say to you because I feel like it's not... Mm, it's not this not what you want to hear it's not even that's not what you want to hear it's exactly what you want to hear but it's not the truth okay so yes pile two that was your spread please let me know how it resonates and we're gonna move on to pile three <laughs> okay pile three you guys chose fuck did i drink, bring your drink over here hold on i'm not gonna lie you guys i didn't have like three or four shots i think it was three just three just three shots but i am a lightweight i don't really drink liquor that often but you guys chose the don julio there's a song that's coming through here, but I can't think about it right now. My brain's not operating the way it needs to. But um, give me one second. Someone's name could be Karen or start with the letter K. All right, give me a second, you guys, because I'm reading this flame. Pile three's person. They have a lot to say. It's coming in super fast, and I feel like you guys won't really be able to, like, you'll be like, whoa. Y'all might have actually resonated with Pile 1. I'm also hearing Pile 4. It's something about the ears here. This person could have gauges. Or they could have bought you some type of jewelry. They get hiccup a lot. <laughs> Hold on. Someone could be in the military here. Pile three's person. Who, whoever chose the Don Julio. Blanco. That's that's like sitting out to me right now. This person wants to start over about something. Uh, I don't know what happened here, but you know, Paige, you know, I care, but like, I want to get my shot in. If you don't mind, I don't mind, I don't. Okay, let me get my shot in, okay? Pile three. 
Ah, hopefully I make it to pile four and I'm not like wasted. Okay. Ooh, the cranberry is almost gone. Let me ding, 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 ding. Paige loves you. Boom. Hold up. There's something coming through. Hold on real quick. Girl, can we talk about how the tag is still on my crystal? <laughs> Man, give me a pass. Give I can't me a pass. Something about presents. Did this person gift you something? This person on the phone is going to talk about how they want to give you something. Girl. I actually didn't like that right there. <laughs> anyway. For some of you guys, I'm, you know what's so crazy? Now, I said a lot of people are going to re resonate with Pile 1. I don't know why. But uh, for some of you guys, you could have orange hair. You could be Irish. Um, there's a lot of pile one references that are coming through. The color orange could be your favorite color. You could have freckles like me, okay? Um, nice smile. I'm hearing nice butt. Nice body. Nice personality. You have it all, honey. Someone could be scared of spiders here. Someone could live in Tennessee. Give me one second. I need to revamp my lip. All right, I'm back. It was a lot coming down for you guys. I don't know. I kept hearing the words Puerto Rican, Mexican, Santa Muerta, okay, um, Cinco de Mayo, Technician. The letter T is coming through very heavily here. Um, either this person does a job where it starts with a T or their name. Some of you guys can have kids with this person or maybe there was toxic kids. Uh, but let me see. Those that picked the Don Julio. There's a song that keeps wanting to come through. Like, I'll be about to say it, but I don't know what the song is. It's like these lyrics that keep coming through my head. So someone could be very into music. Salsa dancing. Like, it's a certain culture that's coming through right now. Customs and traditions. If this person calls you drunk, what's the overall energy about those that picked the Don Julio? You know what I just heard? Julia. You know, I never make a fool of ya. <laughs> Did this person do y'all dirty or something? Like, what's happening here? There's a mistake of some sort. And I feel like this person would want to talk about it. It's something that they... They might talk to you about it, too, when they're not drunk. But it's like, when they're drunk, now they really want to talk about it. This It's like an expression of some sort. Well, I'm hearing one more. The number five is prominent here. Someone could be born on the fifth. Something about the fifth. This person questions themselves a lot. I don't know if you guys put this person in their place or if there was a breakup or a disconnect or something. I'm not going to lie. I'm picking up on a vibe of something went wrong. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Pile three. Those that picked the Don Julio. Let me see something really quick. Some of you guys are asking about this person, but you feel like you kind of sold yourself a little short. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're like, mm, I could have done better. Someone's name definitely starts with a T. Yeah, I'm getting a real, like, someone definitely could be Mexican here. Please let me know who you are down below. And it's not because of the name of the alcohol. I'm literally seeing a certain scenery, and I'm like, mm. I'm seeing it. Let me see. There's two people involved in this situation. I don't know. It's, it's outside of y'all. I don't know if there was gossip or, like, the family. Why do I feel like y'all was with this person? But anyway, okay. Pile three, those that chose pile three, what would their person say to them if they drunk dialed them? Shit, okay. Well, they have a lot to say. Give me one second, you guys. <laughs> Whoa, Nilly. Whoa, fucking Nilly. What would this person not say? Whoever this is, I feel like you guys had some type of connection before. They're very remorseful about whatever happened between you two. Someone could have had a drinking problem or they could have been in rehab. Um, but it's like, they want to talk about a lot. They have a lot to say. They want to talk about why you left. They want to talk about coming back together, maybe even getting married again. That's for somebody getting back into a relationship. They want to talk about the stuff that went wrong, who was gossiping. They want to talk about the hidden information. They want to talk about everything. But overall, they want to express their love with this Knight of Cups. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups for Pile 3. They're all over the place. With this Five of Swords, someone is very... who. The Five of Swords in reverse, it tells me that there's some type of gossip that was put around this connection or put around whatever y'all got going on and they want to clear it up. Like, they want to clear it up. Whatever gossip was put out, they want to clear up the gossip. They want to clear up the rumors. 
They want to kind of right their wrongs. They want to talk about it. The Hermit Virgo energy and we also have Gemini energy. This person could, uh, yeah, I keep getting the gift of the gab, but they just want to talk. This person I feel like you guys have been disconnected from from a while, or this could be someone separate. There's a lot of introspection coming through here. Aquarius energy also coming through here. They're up at night thinking about a lot. I, I keep hearing, I want my family back. So if they called you, there's a real big, it's like a mature energy, but it's still all over the place. And when I say mature, I don't, how do I want to say it? You ever like talk to someone and they want to talk about like the actual like serious stuff? That's this person. Like they want to talk about the serious stuff. What went wrong? They want to like clear the pathway. What would they say? There's a little bit of depression here. Anxiety. They feel lonely without you. They would talk to you about that. They would also tell you how you were the person that like healed them. It's like almost like you guys were like the person that actually understood them, healed them. You were like their guiding light. They would let you know that. This person fucked up. Somebody fucked up here. They want you back. Pile three. Oh my gosh! Leo energy, the chariot, the five of wands, and the king of wands. I'm not going to pull from this deck no more. That has to happen with nobody else. Yes, I'm tipsy, but no. Your person has a lot, to, a lot of stuff to say. The liquor's kicking in. They have a lot to say. What happened, pile three? With this king of wands, it's almost like I keep hearing I want my family back. I want this back. They don't feel right without you. With this five of wands, some of them might have like disconnected to go see what else was out there and they found out that it was bullshit. What you had to offer, it doesn't come around often. It's a, it's a rarity. With this chariot card, this person might talk about these things briefly and talk about all those. Actually, I feel like they're going to go in depth about everything, right? If you give them the time to. But with this chariot card, then they're going to lay it on thick. They want to move in with you or they want to move forward with you. They're like, okay, look, that happened, but we could do better now. I've changed now. I'm serious. This person is very serious about you. Pile three. And that's what they would tell you. They would also express certain things. I feel like it wouldn't be in a disrespectful way or in a jarring way. They would express to you like how they want to do certain things to you sexually. But for the most part, their main focus is like getting you in a home. Like getting you to commit to this connection. Wow, that's so crazy because we have intention here. We have lacking personal direction begets confusion in life as a pawn to someone else's game of chess. This could be past energy where I feel like they were kind of just using you as a toy or maybe you felt kind of used. It's so funny because now this person has had this revelation but for a lot of you guys, you might be inquiring about this person but you're like, you know what, I think about you, I reminisce about you but at the end of the day, I don't know if I could really let myself come back to you like that. They fucked up. The number four coming through, y'all might have had talks about kids or a relationship or a marriage. This person wants that with you, but I don't know if you guys are on it or vice versa. Look at this at the bottom of the deck. This is so fucking crazy or at the top of the deck. If I could pick this up. You know when you try to pick stuff up and you got nails? You see that shit? It's fucking hard, okay? Forgiveness. This person would express to you how they want your forgiveness. We have hurt blocks our light. What did they do, pile three? They did something. And the energy, that's why, ooh. No one's giving me what pile one gave me. This is like real, like, damn, I'm sorry about what I did. I'm sorry for leaving our family. I'm sorry for listening to other people. I'm sorry for um, fucking with your friend. That's for somebody. Like, it's like this person is very remorseful about what they did. But I don't know. You guys might accept the apology, but I don't really know if you want this person. Let me pick these cards up really quick. And I'm going to let the camera roll because there's something coming through here. There was a lot of indecision and pride with this connection. Someone had to make a sacrifice. And at the time, I feel like this person wasn't really interested in making that sacrifice. They were so busy on um, or busy focusing on the material gain from the situation or whatever status. So if they were like getting a lot of accolades from their friends about the shit they were doing, it's like that was their main focus, which I don't like because that's fucking childish. But this is the thing. Now with this four of swords energy, with whoever they left you for, that shit didn't work. That's why this person will call you because whoever they left you for, it didn't work. Now they want their fucking family back. For others, if they didn't leave you for somebody, there's an energy of them like, look, we, we fucked up. Our family, you know, it went down in flames. I want, I want you back. 
Let's do this again. Let's try this again. I have more knowledge now. Yeah, they feel like you're a fucking soulmate. <laughs> Gemini energy. You know, this is the thing. Hold up, because there's a card coming through. With this three of wands, some of y'all can have them blocking this ten of pentacles. I feel like this is someone that y'all was with already. It's like now they're starting to see the long term. But it's like, bitch, was you seeing that shit before when you was doing what you was doing? For some of them, they might have. Maybe y'all just disconnected because someone took another job in another area. It doesn't have to be that deep. You know, don't listen to P. But what I'm saying is, there's just this energy of someone feeling like the way stuff ended was so unexpected. However y'all ended, they're not feeling it, okay? They feel like you could be the mother of their child. Y'all could actually, in, in reality, be the mother of their child. But they feel like they're ready to commit to you. And that's what this person would um, express to you. Why do I feel like some of y'all would be drunk and maybe call this person and it's like all this stuff will come out? Give me one second. I want to grab my deck. <laughs> it's almost like the other way around. You guys would be drunk. Call this person expecting to just say whatever. And now this person, y'all would be surprised. This person actually wants to be with you. Aries energy. We have I'm crushing. It's almost like that energy that y'all used to have before y'all dated is coming back. Wow, this person has a lot of stuff to say. Secrets would come out. They would tell you how they've been up all night. Speaking of actually, someone could uh, drive a red car or a Mustang, codependency. They might talk to you about how they feel like the relation was the relationship. Whoo, honey, the relationship was very codependent before. This person, I feel like X factor. Exactly, this is an X. To the Apollo, it's not, honey, because honey, okay. It's like it's getting hot here. Is it 81 degrees? What's going on, okay. But um. Why do I feel like this was a connection? It's almost like they would talk to you about how they learned their lesson. Hold on. Pile three, their person. They might have disconnected to, from you in a real stupid ass way. We have, I'm tired of everybody being in our business. Exactly. They want to talk about something. Something went wrong. Rumors. What people said. Maybe what your family and friends said. They want to set the record straight. This person wants you though. We have red Mustang again, Scorpio Capricorn energy. This person could drive a red car. You could drive a red car. What does this person want to say to my pile threes if they were drunk? Pile threes person. Very straight. Oh my gosh. Very straightforward. We have snake and we have bended knee. Boys to men. What I'm picking up on with the snake card, I feel like this person did have, there was some type of infidelity in the past. They want to talk about it. There was something that went wrong, however the capacity, I don't know. They want to talk about it. They also could have a snake tattoo. They could have a snake as a pet or they could want to rebirth this situation with you. But this is the thing. With this boys to men, this bend knee, I'm telling y'all, whoever this is, I feel like this is for somebody who was actually in a, in like a connection with this person. Y'all talked about marriage, kids, and all that stuff. They're going to bring that stuff up. This might be y'all's song. This person wants to marry you. And they might express that on the phone. Just saying. So let me see what y'all's advice is. Um, hmm. At, oh, this one, this one, this one. Okay, tell me more about Pile Three's person. Oh, wow. We have Jump In. I've never seen this card before. We have Jump In. Andromedan energy, Andromedan energy, adventure, say yes to change. Breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. Some of you guys need to let go of control with this person, but I don't know if this person has been trying to tell you how they feel about you. It's honest. That's what I'm picking up on. I feel like it's honest. I'm not saying that what they did wasn't fucked up and you have all the right to not want to go back to this person, but this person is very serious about you. And I have to say it like that, like... They want you to take them back. I keep picking up on someone pushing my back, like, tell them this, tell them that, or tell them this, tell them that. Yeah, they're, they're very serious about you. I'm letting them know, buddy, okay? They're very serious about you. Hold on really quick. There's someone coming through here that's talking about how they left you in the family, and that's hurtful at the end of the day, okay? But it's like they left you, there's a little boy I'm seeing. They could have brown hair or, like, um, blonde hair fair skin but there's someone here I feel like they left y'all I keep seeing this little boy and they, they're like so sorry about that they want to try over for some of you guys I'm also picking up on an ancestor that's coming through right here um I don't know what that's about but anyway let me see something real quick 
What other? What do you want to tell Pile 3? What do you want to tell Pile 3? The Chariot, again, it's the same message. This is a whole different deck. The Chariot. And the Knight of Needles in reverse. I want to let you know that they moved away from that phase in their life where they feel like they have to connect with all these different energies in order to feel whole. So if this person was very non-committal, very playerish, they want to let you know, like, I've changed, okay? Whether you want this person back or not, that's not, you know what I'm saying? That's whatever. But, like, this person wants you to know that the Strength card, Leo Energy, look at, the, look at how this person's coming in. It's like they gain some type of knowledge. That's how I'm looking at the weight that this person has. And then they gain this type of knowledge. They've changed certain aspects of themselves. But they're like, damn, will you take me back? They're going to put that extra work in. With this hammer in their head, they feel stupid about whatever it is they did to you. But they want to they wanna right their wrongs. So yes, pile three, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates. And oh my gosh, we're going to move on to pile four. Okay, pile one. I'm like, hold on. Four shots down, we're about to do our fifth shot. Let's do it. Let's get to it. Someone could be an Aries here or a Capricorn. Someone could be wearing Garnet. You know, whoever this person is, they can either feel like you play victim or they play victim. I'm not really sure, but let me take this shot. The cranberry be saving the day. Period. Okay. Either you guys have three friends or this person has three friends that kind of played a role in why y'all disconnected. That's for somebody. Victimization. Ooh, you know what I'm hearing? If this person was drunk, they might tell you how they really feel about what happened in the past. I'm not going to lie. For some of you guys, real cutthroat energy coming through here. I feel like your person is very spiritual and very inclined. They might try to tell you about like... They might try to tell you about like, oh, like this is why you act this way. This is coming from a past place or this is coming from like what happened in childhood. It's like there's a very know-it-all type of energy, but I feel like they're maybe coming from a good place. But let's see. Um, my power for those that chose the absolute vodka. This person is very spiritual. I'm confused as fuck. Yeah. With this victimization, and we also have disconnected stubborn capricorn energy coming through i don't feel the same anymore may taurus aries okay i'm gonna be honest this is my all ball pile there's gonna be like probably three to four storylines coming out if you guys have been dealing with somebody i'm not gonna lie i don't really feel like they're oh my gosh and i got my lapis on oh i'm gonna be so cutthroat i don't really feel like they're into you like that and they might let you know that some of you guys have already been picking up on that energy that's for whoever it's for. Someone is very turned off by... It, I keep seeing this word victimization. So someone is very turned off. This could be your energy or even their energy. They're very turned off by um, how you handle problems and situations. And I feel like this is this person's time to shine. Excuse me. This could also be like... Oh my gosh. This person can have acid reflex, but whoever this person is, it's like stuff is going to be coming up as word vomit. Stuff that they always wanted to say to you but never had the balls to say or the pussy to say, honey. They're going to say it. I don't like that. Um... Because there's something coming through here. They're, they're going to let you know how they feel in the in the honest way. But I don't think it's necessarily like, oh, my emotions, like, I love you, I care about you. No, it's like, if you've been doing something wrong or something shady, they're going to let you know when they're drunk. Pile four, those that chose the absolute. This person is, oh my gosh, this might not be y'all pile, y'all. Y'all know, pick another pile if it doesn't resonate. But it's very specific. I love specific messages. I hate them, but I love them. Because this is gonna be this is gonna hit for somebody. Whoever this is, they're very jealous of your success or the way that the community views you. For some of y'all, this might even be a friend, but it's something about your success they're very jealous of. And they would probably tell you that when they're drunk. Camel, be forbearing and patient. Who's this person for pop four? I don't know why this hurt. Arabia, Pakistan, hedgehog. Be a magnet for light, love, and joy. Let me just tell you guys something. This could be a separate message. I don't want you guys to ever hide yourself to 
like don't ever diminish your energy your energy is very big and it seems like there's people that are drawn to you that are very like intimidated by your energy so they try to like dim you fuck that shit okay it's almost like i'm hearing backhanded compliments so this person would tell you how you're a love or ooh. This person will tell you how you're made of love and light and how you like draw people towards you. It's like the way you draw people towards you or the way you handle situations. This person admires it, but they're also very envious of it. Who is this? This person has things moving very slowly for them in life. There's a jealousy here. I don't like the energy. Ugh. Pile four. They're very confused about something. You guys might have got a recent opportunity. Look at this. The full card and the five of cups. You guys might have got a, a chance to like do something different with life. And it's like this person is very jealous about it. And this will be the time that you would find out about it. I don't care if this is a partner or not. Pay attention to the subliminals. When they talk to you, you'll start to recognize. You'll be like, damn, is this person jealous? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is. They're going to tell you how they really feel. There's a lot of pride here, ego, Leo energy coming through. For my power four, why do I feel like this is like not a romantic interest? This is like a friend group. For my power four, those that chose the absolute vodka illusion. Use your discernment with this person. I don't like the energy. It's not necessarily like this is a bad energy because I feel like you guys are protected, but it's almost like it's like backhanded. The compliments are backhanded. Okay, power four. This person. What would they say when they're drunk? They would tell you how they really feel. That eight of wands want to come out so fucking bad with this thirsty ass. Okay. My power four. What would that person tell them? My power four. Three of wands. You know, there's jealousy, though. There's a jealousy here, but it's it's like... They know they can't really be in this negative energy about you because you guys are so pure. That's for some of you guys. They miss you. They miss your essence. This person will talk about how you've gotten stuff they weren't able to achieve. With this Eight of Pentacles and this Queen of Cups. I'm not going to lie. This is very straightforward. This person will talk about your work. It's something that you do for work that's very threatening to them. I don't know why. They will talk about your work. They would ask you questions about how you do what you do. This person is very intimidated by you, but also inspired by you, but also repulsed by you. All in the same motion. Watch this person, you guys. They wish they got the opportunities that you got. This person could be in competition with you or a secret competition. I don't care if this is someone that you dealt with or not. But like... They admire you, but they envy you all at the same time. They admire you and envy you all at the same time. This could be a Virgo. A water sign. Yes. Whoever this is, this two of swords, this could be... Let me tell y'all. If y'all were asking about a friend or like someone that y'all blocked and haven't talked to for a long time, they want to come out of this conflict with you. But it's almost like this energy of they're very jealous of you. Whoever this is, they're very jealous of you. This is either going to be a pile or it's not. Because I'm picking up on more of something that's platonic. They're jealous. They can't handle the fact that you shine. They can't handle the fact that you're moving on without them. They can't handle it. And it's almost like when they're drunk dialing you, they would talk about that. They would talk about their struggles, how things haven't, haven't worked out for them. How They would also like hype you up, but just pay attention. Mm -mm. P don't like it, baby. Pay attention. For my pal, um, fours. Exactly. You guys are coming up as the empress. The end all, the be all, even if you're masculine, you're coming up as someone who has not toxic masculinity, but like your masculine and feminine energy is very like balanced. This person is very intimidated by you. They want to be you, but they also hate you at the same time. Six of Wands, you guys have a lot of success. Come on, spirit, power four. There could have been a third party here. Whoever this was, if they chose a third party that did not work out, that person got very codependent on your person's energy and kind of drained them, so now they want to come back to you. But for a lot of you guys, I feel like you're so focused on business and moving on. Y'all moved away, moved house. This person wants to talk about it. They want to talk about what happened. They want to talk about why you moved away. They want to talk about why you distanced yourself from them. How about this person? What would they say if they were drunk? 
Carly, She Who Frees, Liberation, Unstrained Freedom. They want to talk to talk about ooh the alcohol. They want to talk about why you moved away. They want to talk about how life is going for you. This person is so intrigued in why things are working the way they are for you. They're happy for you, but they're also like hating on you at the same time. It's a very dual energy. They want to know how you did what they did, but they also want to know why you did what they did. This person is very upset at the fact that you left them. Something is not working out for this person. They might not even show you this. Give me one more card for pile four. But it's like there's a hate here. I hate to say it like that. I really do. We have she who instigates leadership pr provocation. Provocation power. Like provocative. Someone who provokes. She who hesitates more, ponder, delay, confidence. There's someone here who's very jealous of the fact that you take chances and they weren't able to take that chance. It's like they want to do the things that you do, but they just can't because of fear. They're very jealous about that. So I'm telling y'all, and I'm going to end it here. There's an energy of whoever this person is. I'm not going to lie. I'm not getting really a romantic interest. I'm getting a platonic interest. A platonic interest. So if you guys are not asking about a platonic interest, this might not be your pile. But there is someone in your environment, and that's why I feel like spirit brought you to this pile, that you guys need to watch out for. Because there's someone that admires you, but also envies you at the same time. They want to know how you did what you did, and you guys are very caring. You want to tell this person. But there's an envy here. Watch the people that you connect with. I'm drunk as I'm tipsy. I'm about to make a mean ass rap, go to sleep, wake up, make some more videos. And yeah, watch this person though. I don't like the energy. It's somebody that's like, it's an admiration turn envy. And the reason why you chose this pile, um, Spirit wants you to let you, like Spirit wants to let you know about this person. Hold on really quick. I'm here to uh, talk about the signs. We have Sagittarius, Leo, any water sign, Virgo. I keep hearing Leo. So yeah. So yes, you guys, I was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates. And I'll see you guys in the comments.